I've seen your merch and your merch is fucking sick. Is that something that you put as much effort in? Because I know as like a musician, tour musician, that's mostly where you're going to make your money these days. You know what I mean? Because the price of gas, everything fucking else, you're just, you're eating shit out there. Is that something that you're consciously putting uh, a lot more effort into as opposed to just saying, ah, I'll just throw this on there and, you know, turn it out? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, and it, it comes with like a, its own price too, because I'm so picky about merch designs that I feel like you look at some of my friends have merch stores and they have 200 t-shirts and I wouldn't fucking wear a single thing on it. I feel like wrestling fans like are not always the most fashionable, so they don't always care. <laughs> So, so it's like they're they're selling the shit out of all these merch, you know. Like, well, obviously, his, I mean, his fucking two hand t shirt. Yeah, but, point, <laughs> made, point made with the guy on the fucking the podcast. <laughs> but like, I, I think my rule of thumb is usually like, if I wouldn't wear it, then I'm probably not going to make it. There has been exceptions to the rule. Like, my wife, she's really great at art in general, but like, she's good at pretty good at the graphic design as well, and she made this like. Wreck It Ralph, like Donkey Kong type shirt that's on my pro wrestling tea store. I hated it. Uh, I'm not like the the kitty wrestler. Like I don't want to make like Disney ripoffs. Like this is I don't know if this is for me. She's like just do it, just see how it goes. I think to date it's probably my highest selling T-shirt. So you know what the fuck do I know? The stuff that people probably don't recognize. I have an agnostic front ripoff shirt with the boots on the front, and then I like tattoo design T-shirts and stuff like that. But for the most part, I like my wrestling shirts to not look like wrestling merch.